Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm so delighted to meet all of you through this wonderful program called Eye Opening Sermon. Today we are going to meditate on a topic called On the Mount of the Lord it shall be provided. On the Mount of the Lord it shall be provided. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Our God is a mighty God and we get into God's presence when we have that mountaintop experience. What happens is in our life, whatever our need is, it shall be provided. Hallelujah! We are going to read from Genesis chapter 22 verses 1 to 14 onwards. Now it came to pass after these things that God tested Abraham and said to Abraham and he said here I am then he said take now your son your only son Isaac whom you love and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I shall tell you so Abraham rose early in the morning and saddled his donkey and took two of his young men with him and Isaac his son and he split the wood for the burnt offering and arose and went to the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day Abraham lifted his eyes and saw the place afar off and Abraham said to his young men stay here with the donkey the lad and I will go yonder and worship and we will come Come back to you. So Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on Isaac his son, and he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and the two of them went together. But Isaac spoke to Abraham his father and said, My father, and he said, Here I am, my son. Then he said, Look, the fire and the wood, but where is the lamp for a burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide for himself the lamp for a burnt offering. So the two of them went together. Then they came to a place of which God had told them, and Abraham built an altar there and placed the wood in order, and he bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched out his hand and took the knife to slay his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. So he said, Here I am. And he said, Do not lay your hand on the lad or do anything to him, for for now I know that you fear God, since you have not withheld your son, your only son from me. Then Abraham lifted his eyes and looked, and there behind him was a ram caught in a thicket by its horns. So Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up for a burnt offering instead of his son. And Abraham called the name of the place, the Lord will provide, as it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord, it shall be provided. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! In the mount of the Lord, it shall be provided. We see here a story about a father and a son and their love, the faith and obedience towards Father God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Abraham was initially named Abram. When he was Abraham, God asked Abraham to leave his people, to leave his property, to leave his position and go into the land where God was showing him. And you know what did Abraham do? He immediately obeyed. Immediately he obeyed. He left the people. He left the property. He left his position and obeyed the word of God. Hallelujah. Today, when God speaks something to us, when God asks us to leave something, be it relationships, be it a property, be it a money, be it a time, are we willing to sacrifice it for the Lord? But in Abraham's case, we see that he was willing to sacrifice. God named him from Abraham to Abraham. Hallelujah. That's why the verse says, after these things, after Abraham obeyed the Lord and after his name was changed to Abraham God is giving him a command saying take your only son and this only son was not just born instantly after his marriage when he was 75 years old God gave him a promise saying that you will have a son 
he had to wait for 25 almost 25 years for that promise to come into fruition so this son is very precious this son is very valuable this son is so close to his heart but one day the lord is saying abraham you need to sacrifice your isaac to me so if today god is going to ask you and me to sacrifice some of the people in our lives to sacrifice our money for the kingdom of god to sacrifice the wealth for the people of god to sacrifice our time for the kingdom of god are we willing to do it are we ready to do it it's very difficult sometimes i remember a story of a boy who fell down from a cliff and even as he was falling down reaching towards the ground he clinged on to a branch and even as he was clinging on to the branch and you know struggling between life and death he said god speak to me god speak to me god can you save me so god spoke to him and said yes my son i can save you so the boy asked lord what should i do for you to save me god said just leave the branch just leave the branch you know what the boy said lord how can i leave the branch if i leave the branch i will die sometimes we teach god what to do we just don't obey when god says leave that branch he means just leave the branch because only when you leave the branch you can experience him as jehovah jireh in your life many times we want god to be a jehovah jireh but we are not willing to lay our isaac into the altar hallelujah hallelujah today god is saying lay your isaac into the altar and then at the mount of the lord everything shall be provided to you amen a god is a good god a god is a powerful god just like that small boy just don't be clinging on to the branch if god is saying leave that branch that means god will provide a way to save you do not doubt god he is beyond time he is beyond resources and our wisdom and our ways are not his ways he is a different god he is a mighty god my god is mighty to save that is the belief that each believer should have in each of our lives Hallelujah. So once God gave Abraham a command, Abraham was not lethargic about it. Verse 5 we see Abraham rose early in the morning. <laughs> God is saying sacrifice your only son. You remember if God has told each one of us the same command, it would take time for us to accept it, prepare ourselves, you know, and get into that journey to sacrifice. but abraham rose early means he was so instant in obeying the lord and that's why god blessed him so abundantly amen today we need all abrahamic blessings but we are not willing to obey god so what happened now he rose early in the morning he took the wood he took the fire he took everything he took two people along with him he took his son and all of them went and it was a 3 day journey and for that 3 days just imagine what would have gone through in abraham's mind what would be in your mind if god gives us such a tough thing to do if god gives us a very tough thing to let go if god is saying sell all your property and give it to your church what would you do would you be willing would you rise up early in the morning and go and make all the arrangements and by evening would you encash it and sow it in the kingdom of god you never know you never know maybe there are some people who will do it but what did abraham do He instantly obeyed the word of God. He rose up early in the morning. He got ready, took everything and he just went. And when he saw the place which the Lord had asked him to go from far, he said the two people he took along with him, he said, "Please stay here. I am going up to the mount to worship the Lord and we will come back together." He never said I'm going to sacrifice my son and I am going to come back alone rather he said we are going to worship the Lord and we are going to come back together that's a word of prophecy in difficult situation when god is asking us to do tough things maybe for god it is not tough but for us maybe it is tough when god is asking us to do difficult things when god is asking us to let go certain things what happens What will you and me do in those situation but what did Abraham do he said he released a word of prophecy he said i'm going to worship the lord 
and we are going to come back together so in difficult situation he was not complaining but rather he was prophesying he was uttering a prophetic word which came true in his life and you know according to abraham what is worship today in churches we have singing and worship according to me that concept is wrong because we need to praise and worship it's not about your vocals it's not about the rhythm it's about a heart of worship a heart of praise so i think we need to go with praise and worship and what is true worship is according to abraham it is obedience to the word of god because abraham was obeying the lord he told his servants that i am going to the mount to obey God that is to worship the Lord hallelujah so worship means true obedience to the word of God today if you call yourself a worshipper ask yourself if you are truly obeying the word of God hallelujah so what happened now is they went even as they started their journey they went and in verse 8 we see Isaac asking him daddy you said we are going to sacrifice a lamb where is the lamb difficult question for a father to answer it's very difficult i do not know abraham was a very old man so you know he doesn't have that kind of a vigor and a, a strength maybe he was a very strong man but for a father it's very difficult to handle that question you know what abraham did he said the Lord will provide for himself. He still prophesied. He never cribbed. He never complained. He never spoke negative things to his son. Rather, he said, my Lord will provide for himself a lamp. That's a word of prophecy. Today, in problematic times, what are you and me doing? Are we talking negative words or are we prophesying? Hallelujah. And finally, what happened is, Isaac was not a small boy as we think. He was not a baby. Always we have Jesus as baby Jesus in our mind and we remain as baby Christians. But you know, Isaac was not a small baby so that Abraham could lift him and lay him on the altar. He was 25 years old. Maybe Abraham would have told him, my son, just lay on the altar and he would have tied him. And you know, Isaac was obedient like his father. If Abraham was a man of faith, Isaac was a boy of obedience. He obeyed his father, he was laid on the altar and when Abraham took the knife to slay Isaac, what happened is the angel of the God spoke telling, do not do it, do not slay him. Because in the heart of Abraham, Abraham already sacrificed Isaac and God is a God who does not look at the outward but God looks at the inside and God was pleased with Abraham's sacrifice and the Lord provided for a ram and finally Abraham sacrificed the ram and Abraham called that place and he called God Jehovah Jireh, the mountain which provides everything. When God becomes Jehovah Jireh in my life, God will supply every need. So today, my request is, people of God, lay your Isaac at the altar so that God can manifest as Jehovah Jireh in your life. Let's look to the Lord in prayer. Thank you, Daddy. We praise you. We lift your name on high, O oh God. Thank you for speaking to us today, Daddy. Today, we willingly surrender our Isaac at the altar, Daddy. And we want to taste you as Jehovah Jireh in our lives. We thank you and we praise you, Daddy. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching this program and God bless you.